Hello, welcome to Juniper Level Botanic Garden, the home of Plant Delights Nursery. Prepare to have your socks knocked off. Um, there's this bromeliad blooming today and it's just stunning. Um, this is Puya alpestris, um, a Chilean species from the high Andes. Alpestris refers to the alpine areas of a mountain. It uh, has been here since uh, 2019, so it's gone through a number of winters. Um, it's very arid in its native habitat, um, so we provided it with this very sunny location and very sharply drained soil in our crevice garden where there's mostly gravel in between the repurposed concrete that's been set on end like a natural crevice garden. Um, this damaged foliage is the result of 14 degrees this past winter. Um, it's quickly making new growth. Um, and now for the first time it's blooming. It's just an indescribable shade of sort of aqua green blue with bright orange stamens, the part of the flower bearing the pollen in the center and a little green stigma waiting to receive some pollen. Now um, these extensions of the stem that bears the flowers uh, will not bear additional flowers but they serve as a perch for the birds that pollinate the flowers um, in its native habitat. Um, despite this being quite large, you know, five or six feet tall, it looks taller than me, but it's up on a raised mound here. Um, the largest bromeliad of all is another species of pu Puya, um, Puya raymondii, and it can be about 50 feet tall in bloom. Um, I've never seen it except in photographs, and it's really dramatic. Um, plant when it's in bloom. Now, like a lot of monocots that have rosettes of foliage, the rosette that is blooming will die, but these younger rosettes that are not blooming will carry on and maybe bloom next year or, or some year in the future. Um, we did go to 14 degrees, so this is at best probably a zone 8A plant but really, really worthwhile if you can uh, eventually keep it alive long enough to bloom. Puyas in the bromeliad family, a largely tropical family, probably the two best known members of that family are the pineapple. You know, think of this as a floral expression of a pineapple. Um, and Spanish moss. Spanish moss might be the most un bromeliad like member of that family. Um, and the majority of bromeliads are epiphytes, not parasites, but epiphytes, plants that live up upon another plant, the, usually the branches of a very large tree. Um, epi means upon, and phyte is plant, so an epiphyte is merely a plant that's getting up off the gloomy jungle floor by growing on the branches of a tree up way up high above the floor. But the puyas are, are not epiphytes. They are terrestrial and they are native to very dry high elevation parts of the Andes. So don't try strapping these onto a tree. They need to be rooted into sharply drained soil. Um, and they are well armed, not as bad as some of these other dry land plants, but um, Puya and the related uh, genera, um, Hectia and um, Dikea, all are well-armed plants. So um, plant them where you're not going to bump into them, but uh, well worth the trouble if you eventually get them to bloom. I hope you have pulled up your socks by now and I thank you for your time today and I hope to see you again in the garden.